are some confusion and there are some misunderstanding and there is some problems that we has to be cleared. One of the things which I go back to the beginning as we see people don't understand, be correct. Many of you use acoustic to produce nano materials and then you take your nano plates and you produce CO2 or zinc oxide or whatever. There is a flow with all of you, a lot of people between the two processes. This has to be corrected. When you take a nanoplated copper or anything you put in a caustic, even the food which you put in a caustic that you produce cans of something, wash your plates thoroughly. Wash your wires thoroughly. Wash your ganses which you produced, nanomaterials you produced, <coughs> which came in touch with caustic thoroughly. Because if you don't do, you take the material and you start creating CO2. You create a cross-contamination of creating toxic. There are different ways to neutralize it. When you washed it, to make sure you have not carrying any other things from caustic. The suggestions from our scientific team and the others are different approaches, how to neutralize. Using lemon juice, using other things which neutralizes caustic is one approach. Using simpler way to make sure you don't bring cross-contamination is the cornerstones of end product to be correct. We've seen some Germans who have actually produced the material, they tested it, they said there is something wrong. When we asked the process here, yeah, we don't wash the caustics off the plates, you carry it forward. Please make sure anytime you come in touch from one process to another, you understand fully. <clears throat> Even with your salt, when you're washing the ganses, make sure you don't carry any salt to the next step. It affects your process. We have, through measurements, now understand that a lot of you make paint pens and you put all sorts of coils in it. The more coils you put in it, the less effective the system becomes to become alkalizer. The test we've done in atomic, data, scientific data tested with machinery and other system, two or three times to confirm, is that when you put a copper coil inside the liquid of the GANS, you reduce the alkalineness by up to one point. From now on, when you produce pain pens, use the gas direct in the glass, in your center pin. You reach one point extra. If you are 8.3, you become 9.3. The reason is understandable, because the pen absorbs some of the fields back to itself. So its efficiency is from alkalineness, is different. So, for those of you who start making the pens, please make the pens in a slightly different way. You don't need to make, in so many ways, um, what we call um, fancy pens. Make these pens in a way that you can understand how it works, understand the principle behind it, and allow it to work. Then, by content of what you put in the liquid, increases or reduces the, what we call, 
our blindness. Other points which we have to learn, as many of you are using different kind of cancers, is to understand how it operates, what it does, and the way it does. What is the reason behind many reactions? We received a question from the medical people past couple of days. Can you explain the work of the breathing systems? How does the breathing system work? I tried the time I had to join the health section and explain it to the doctors. But many of you are building these health, these breathing units. What's the logic behind it? What does it do? How does it work? You understood part of the operation. Now it's time to expand a little bit more into the knowledge. We taught it to the, what we call our knowledgeable doctors in the teaching yesterday. But it has to be shared by all of us because a lot of you are doing it. When you are making a breathing unit, when you are making a water unit, when you are making patch units or environmental systems, make sure that all your systems are tuned to the same level. What it means, if you are making your breathing system 80% zinc oxide and 20% carbon CO2, your drinking water has to be the same. Your patches has to be the same. If not, you create a conflict in the fields in the body of the man. So when you make a system for breathing, you make a system for uh, drinking, and you make a system for the surrounding, you have to make sure all your systems are the same in fine-tuning. Make one GANS, and from that GANS mixture, feed everything. I've taught this many times to our so make everything for everything, and then fill up. Don't do one by one. This is how we should be. This is how it should be. Do not make different ganses for different things. When you set up to do a job, especially using mixture of breathing and water and environment, make sure you get a continuity. This is important. When you take the breathing system, understand what the breathing system does. The air you breathe in, because of the zinc oxide, carries the strength of the motion of the man, the emotion, the feeling, which itself feeds into the soul of the man. The higher strength level which are needed for the soul is taken by the soul when the emotion is fed the correct way. It's not a warm way system that you continuously take from the soul. You have to feed the soul. It's very much like the rain on the surface of this planet. Raindrops does not come down. It goes up from the surface of the oceans as a vapor up and rains back down. If it doesn't rain down, there is no ocean. When you feed your emotion, the surplus, what is needed, will be taken by the soul. Soul is a living entity. It needs to be fed as long as it feeds. In so many times, in so many teachings, we explain this. If you understand how the structure of the brain works, when you breathe, you allow certain amount of energy to be absorbed by the lung itself. The structure of the lung is a motor system for the control, not of only the air, but the amount of energy is taken by the brain and the soul. Is a pump of the brain. Is the pump of the soul. 
air is connected to the amino acid structure of the brain of the man. The rhythm of the breathing, in conjunction with the rhythm of the heart, creates the condition for the brain of the man to absorb energy from the environment of his surrounding. If it has been a puzzle to the world of medicine and to the man, that where the nourishment and the energy comes to the brain of the man without any blood vessels, Now the man understands. The heart rhythm, which is part of the feeding of the physicality of the emotion of the man, in conjunction with the collector of the energy from the environment, which is the lung of the man, creates a pumping structure for the brain above it, to be able to absorb energy from the environment of his living. The heart beats, the lung expands and closes, it creates a field extraction and feeding that the brain is like a pump. If you've seen those blow pumps, that's all it is. That's how our brain, without circulation of any blood vessels, receives energy. This is why when the heart stops, the brain stops. Because the heart and lung, the part of the twin star, which the soul and the brain is the other. When one stops, the other one has got nothing to give. And the soul receives the confirmation of the end of the existence, and it takes a new position. Because the companion, which was feeding it, is not there anymore. It looks for a new dimension. This is why, when we die, our souls leaves our body. Because it's collaborate to change the physical energy into the energy level of the soul, which is the brain of the man, is not there anymore. Because the feeder of the brain cells, of the energy, is a pumping of the heart, which as the contracts, you have to understand, the lung and the heart are not just the liquid pumps, they are the flow of the field pumps. As they contract and they expand, they create the absorption of the energy to the brain, and the soul of the man from the environment. That is for the first time man understands why we don't have any blood vessels in our brain. Where does the energy come from? We always assume it comes from the body. But the brain of the man receives its power, its energy, its existence through, and only through, the environment it exists. This goes back with the teaching which we've done and you could understand. We said always, even if you listen to the teaching of yesterday and then interviews, he said you need calcium to be the seed of the cell of the brain. Then we explain in the previous teachings that the calcium comes from the skull. And in that process, coming from the skull of the man, it comes down according to the energy which comes from outside into the inside of the body of man from his environment. This is why we shape different, this is why we have different mentality in different part of the world, because the environmental fields in that area gives us that kind of a structure of thinking and looking. So, for the first time, man understands that the energy and the construction for the structure of the brain of the man comes through its environment and not through its physical part. If you don't have contraction or reduction and increase and the filtering of the breathing from the heart, the brain will not function because it's the twin 
star of the fields of the brain, of the soul. As every time your heart contracts and you hear plum plum, or you hear your breathing, it's not just a physical noise, it's the variation in the magnetic gravitational field which these create, which with it is like sucking in energy into the brain of the man, and getting rid of what the brain doesn't need through the lung of the man, through the blood of the man. This is why we have no blood cells, we have no feeding cells, because a plasma takes totality from the surrounding. Maybe for the first time, those are who are physicians and can understand this, can expand the knowledge of the man in the next step, that in the deep space, by absorbing energy from environment, we do not need to use the physicality to be part of it, as we choose where to be. For the first time, the world understands the true way that its soul and its emotion absorb energy from the environment of the existence. We have to rewrite all the medical books. We have to understand the totality of the work of the man is through the soul of the man, through his emotion and in reduction and in operation to the physicality of the man. <coughs>